Yo, this is going out to all my socio-cultural theorists out there. All started by my boy, Vygotsky. But when I thought about this project, it had me in a big spin. I was not too sure on where I would begin. So I sat down and jotted some notes out. And then all at once, I guess I really broke out into this song that I hope will help you learn about Vygotsky and what he did do. Let's start at the beginning and lay the foundation. His theory was simple and definitely made him famous and respected. But all he's really saying is first between, then within. You got it first between, then within. From social to the individual. Come on, it goes first between, then within. Yeah, all right, let me explain that to you. According to this dude, we learn from other people. Without some instruction, our brains will be feeble. There are three ways to teach one another. Collaborate, instruct, or imitate each other. Any method that you choose, Vygotsky was helping on language. The key to cognitive development and other things called the cultural tools like computers, pencils, symbols, and rules. Wise people and these tools help pass information. It's a social process, and I know that you're related. Remember learning to read? You didn't do it yourself. You had a teacher, a parent, and a book on a shelf and remember when you first learned you were so excited you helped another learn with the tools you were provided you internalize important things which later got used to teach the things you know to other ladies and dudes it all comes back to the main message that i'm saying it goes first between then within first between then within from social to the individual come on it goes first between then within yeah all right on to another construct of Vygotsky, the role of language, yeah, and private speech. He believed that this was a child's tool to learn self-regulation and not be a fool. See, a child starts out regulated by another, like a teacher, a mother, or even a brother. It's these people here that must teach the child, like, hey, don't pick flowers or destroy something wild. At this point, now the child expands their views and uses private speech. It's a powerful tool that think it's higher now, and they regulate themselves by repeating, don't pick flowers to his or herself, but just hold on, this story's not done yet, the next time a flower's picked, this child might get to share the knowledge and pass the info, just the same, this is all a part of the social learning game, you see it all starts with the social interaction, from history to language, and even to fractions, don't forget about the roots here, y'all should know it, it goes first, between, then, within, come on, first, between, then, within, from social to the individual, come on, it goes first, between, then, within, yeah. On to some practical application This theory's got many that I will be explaining Let's talk about a place where the learning is fast-paced The zone of proximal development Let me just take a second and explain what I meant See, it's a sweet spot for an instructor to teach It's where the student's potential can truly be reached It's in between a child's current abilities And something too hard, no matter the facilities It's where with some clues, tips, and some teaching New cognitive heights a child will be reaching This theory tells us that a teacher has the power To expand a child's mind like a blooming flower What's the age range? Where this is effective? Well, I don't think this theory gets all that selective. See, learning happens throughout all of our lives. It's a social process where we learn to thrive from those with experience to those without. It goes first between, then within. Come on, first between, then within. From social to the individual. Come on, it goes first between, then within. Yeah. This theory's not perfect, it's been debated And the social emphasis may seem inflated See, we all can learn all on our own Even things that we were not shown This was a young theory and it may have evolved The issues that we see may well have been solved But Vygotsky died at such an early age That he never did refine the words on the page Bottom line, what's the message to all of us teaching? It's that everything we do could potentially be reaching A child's mind and shaping their mold To be a good role model, have standards and it's a goal, reach beyond a child's current abilities. Scaffolding unfolds new possibilities. Aim for the zone between barbin and too hard, like an Oreo cookie. And we're aiming for the middle part. With your expertise, you can boost a child up. Come on now, y'all, just try to keep up. Yo, this may have been fast, but I hope you now see this theory's quite simple. We learn socially from those with experience to those without. It goes first between, then within. Come on, first between, then within. From social to the individual, come on, it goes first between, then within. Peace. <laughs>